From across Maryland, Virginia, and the district, this is Washington's 24-hour local news leader. News Channel 8's Live This Morning starts right now. Of course, it is the sunny summertime, and in that rush to get that glowing tan, perhaps we're forgetting the downside of sun exposure as well. The dangers of skin cancer are well documented. But is there a countervailing argument for sun exposure because of what is thought to be the widespread vitamin D deficiency? Joining us to sort out this risk-reward problem is Dr. Anu Gupta, a radiation oncologist with the Associates in Radiation, and she is a frequent contributor to this uh, broadcast, and we all look forward to your visits, doctor. Thanks so much. Which is more important here, uh, the worry about skin cancer or what is clearly a problem with vitamin D that a lot of Americans have? Yeah. So this is the time of the year when most people are out enjoying the sun and healthcare professionals, I think, have done a fabulous job warning people about sun exposure and sun damage and using sunscreen mm -hmm. and all of that. And we've done such a good job that we've dropped people's vitamin D levels. In the process. So, and um, your body needs some sun to make vitamin D. And so we've now actually been checking vitamin D levels in people, especially ones who have vague aches and pains, constant fatigue. Um, so that's the flip side to the mm -hmm. sunscreen issue. But frankly, the, su the risk of skin cancers is still far more significant than your vitamin D levels because those can be replaced if needed. There are all kinds of supplements you can take that have vitamin okay. D in them, and, and, and there, you can get it that way, you can get it through foods and that sort of thing. Are there long-term problems associated with vitamin D if this is a chronic problem for some patients? There are long-term problems. There are some cancers that have some links to vitamin D deficiency, but frankly, it's not, uh, it's not as significant as the, risk of running, as the risk of skin cancers would be. So American Association of Dermatology actually recommends about 15 minutes a day of mm -hmm. sun exposure, but not sunburn. Um, yeah. So a little bit of sun exposure is okay, um, but too much is bad. I mean, this all brings up the whole issue of tanning salons. Sure, and, and I, in so, fact, that's where I, I was going to go next in all this, because some people will say, okay, that gives me, uh, uh, my doctor says I need to go to the right. tanning salon, and indeed, I think, there are even some of those salons that are saying, here's how you can get that needed vitamin D. Right. And the answer to that would be no. The tanning salons, um, they are high risk and they're usually way more than 15 minutes. Um, they're exposing you to ultraviolet rays, which we know are bad to begin with. Um, and so, you know, there have been some issues with taxing, tanning salons, and all of that. It's a high risk behavior. And frankly, most people get enough little bit of sun yeah. exposure throughout the day Just that it's not walking around really, exactly, outside is. That it's not an issue. Um, the risk of skin cancers is far more of an issue. There are about a million people a year diagnosed with skin cancers, of which half of them are directly attributable mm -hmm. to sun exposure. So basically, stay covered up as much as you can. You know, you need to be careful, not paranoid. Talk with your doctor. The most common, um, suns the most effective sunscreen has to have an, has to have a broad spectrum SPF of at least 30. Dr. Nugupta uh, giving us some uh, very good perspective on a problem that uh, is not as big as a lot of people might want you to believe. Uh, the bigger problem is the one that we talk about on a regular basis, and that's sun exposure. Thank you so much. It's You're always welcome. a pleasure, Doctor. Thanks.